Good morning, Patrick. How are you? I'm fine. What about you, Savona? I'm doing okay. It's good to see you again. Yeah, me too. I have to come back to New York next year. Okay. Oh, when are you coming to France? I'm trying to make arrangements to do just that next year as well. Okay, if you can manage, I will organize, uh, uh, let's say, a north and walk in the travel. Okay. okay. So, so tell me. So, so tell me, uh, how was it being in Burkina Faso last year? Oh, uh, actually, you know, just after New York, uh, I was invited in Burkina Faso for an artistic uh, residency. Mm -hmm. That's after uh, uh, 14 months. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so it was uh, in 2010 and 2011. And uh, actually, when I arrived uh, in Burkina Faso, that was two weeks after New York, um, I started with an exhibition. Mm -hmm. And then after um, the French Institute, okay. the French Institute uh, had a, a publication, a book project for me there. So then I spent a, a few months to, um, uh, painting, you know, drawing, everything, making exhibition, uh, workshops also, with uh, African artists. And then after, at the end, uh, uh, there was a huge exhibition in two big cities of the Faso, which is Wangatubu, and uh, Bobo du Lasso, that's the name of the town. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then uh, with the promotion of the book, and the name of the book is uh, uh, is uh, body and soul. Yes, I read about it online. Okay, right. And uh, uh, this book is, uh, let's say, it has uh, 500 uh, reproduction of painting I've done in uh, Burkina Faso and also original inside. And I make sure you have one before uh, the uh, before next year. Okay, that's great. That's yeah. fantastic. So things have gone very well for you in Burkina Faso. So tell us, uh, how do you feel about the African Burial Ground asking you to have your images shown again at their new visitor center? Well, actually, what I have to say is that uh, when I arrived in Burkina Faso, uh, the exhibition, I, uh, I show uh, a lot of work in New York. And uh, I don't know if you remember, it was, uh, I made a diary mm -hmm. about the African burial ground. Mm -hmm. So many people, so this, uh, this sort of exhibition, I had a lot of people coming in, I should say, I should say uh, um, 10,000 people mm -hmm. in, this, uh, in this space. And uh, so a lot of them um, uh, didn't know nothing about the African burial ground in New York. So I have to tell the story, and, uh, and I show a few, you know, large scale I've done uh, for this uh, window installation. And then after, uh, for me, it was, uh, you know, the, the subject of the African burial ground uh, 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 was, uh, you know, uh, very linked in mm -hmm. some way to my work. Okay. I don't know if it's about, uh, you know, ancestors, it's about uh, 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 consider the past, to be to the future, at the same time, about, uh, you know, Afro-American people, but it's also about Africa in some way, uh, it's, uh, it's about America today. So all these subjects for me were very close to, you, uh, you know, my, my own story uh, as a thinker. So it was like... Uh, uh, as I recall, like a mirror. I don't know if you can um, understand this uh, image. Um, but I've done the African burial ground. I was reading, you know, a few um, people who wrote in my book while I was at the African burial ground. And all the people had uh, uh, some great, uh, you know, feelings about uh, uh, what I've done. Uh, you know, just showing images that, uh, that, that should, um, uh, you know, uh, that could um, uh, give a face, mm -hmm. which is, you, know, you know, with the sign of the African diaspora, well, the people and, uh, and the, the West African Art Fund also, who managed to do this event. Wow. 
Wow. So while you were there in Burkina uh, Faso, which is interesting because that country was a part of the Windward Coast and the Rice Coast that was, you know, where a lot of slaves were taken during the transatlantic, you know, uh, passage across to the uh, Caribbeans and to the Americas. What inspirations did you find there uh, that you never experienced before? Oh, it was like um, Spain, uh, before coming to New York, it was like a, a promised land for me to pronounce it, the world thing of the, the African diaspora. Then, when I arrived in Africa, it was like uh, a real promised land for me. Uh, and uh, right, uh, in Burkina Faso, they speak French also. Mm -hmm. American countries and what this is English or Spanish or uh, Portuguese, but just not as French, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, with other dialects, which are, uh, you know, more ethnic dialects. But anyway, the thing is, uh, the, the people, I, in some ways, they had the same reaction that in New York. Okay. Uh, and even before I was in New York, I was in South America, and all the time the same. Uh, same thing that is um, that has uh, an universal language in some way. When uh, when I show African people on painting, everybody knows it all down. Then after, the people can rely to a story they have on their own based on this kind of image. And it's like uh, yeah, carrying mirror. It's like uh, I'm a mirror dealer. I don't know. You know, I can uh, I put some painting that. Uh, Hopefully, they become heroes for some communities or for some stories. Yeah. Well, I wanted to ask you, tell me a little bit about the institute, the French institute that's in Burkina oh. Faso as well, because yeah. uh, I don't think too many people know about that institute there. Well, it's uh, a huge network in the world. Uh, you, you've got uh, uh, in every country, a lot of countries, what they call the French. Institute, mm -hmm. or that Faso, it can be a um, French Institute of Burkina Faso. Then I'm going to Mali, French Institute of Mali. And they, they are, um, it's uh, their um, purpose to represent French culture abroad. Okay. So, as a French painter, I was invited there with, uh, then my work fit to, uh, you know, what work show about the French creation of today, that was it. And they were also interested by what I've done in New York before, you know, uh, especially uh, uh, about the, the African Korean mm -hmm. that because this is very symbolic, and I, I um, you know, I, um, I always remember this, uh, this process. It's not a, uh, as, a, I should say, a normal exhibition. Uh, it's about, uh, you know, sharing something that, that was uh, for me. I'm not, as I say, I'm not African, I'm not uh, American, you know, but uh, I'm, I'm a French guy from South of France. But at the same time, I can, uh, um, I can uh, you know, consider myself uh, as a kind of messenger mm -hmm. of reality in some way, because I, so then uh, on improvisation, then after you can find the real model of your work. But, uh, you, uh, it happens often for me during an exhibition from the, the, you know, in the, the audience, we will recognize ourselves or himself. Okay. okay. And are you thinking about maybe since you've been to Africa of doing different types of works, perhaps uh, uh, installation work or uh, abstract oh, yeah. work? Yeah, both, both. Yeah, uh, uh, and uh, what happens uh, the next year? I will have uh, well, quite uh, you know, uh, I will tell you about that. Uh, a lot of uh, new exhibition in Africa, in other, in other countries, mm -hmm. which is the effect of what I've done in Burkina Faso. So I am invited in different countries to do some uh, uh, different things, uh, different types of work. 
Okay. That you go to Mozambique, Maputo, to make uh, an expedition that will be in April. I will have to go back to Burkina Faso for an installation in uh, February. Okay. Uh, I will have to be five months in Rwanda. Rwanda for two months is a writer from Rwanda of all generation. Okay. This place that book. It's like, uh, you know, um, and then my work, uh, uh, even when you see the book, I will send you, and I will send one to the African Burial Ground. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you uh, so much, Patrick. It is so good to see you. Great. And then uh, what happened is that, uh, so, it will be and, um, in the book, for example, you will see it's more everyday life. The work I've done is more about everyday life. Mm-hmm. Which in some ways a shock, uh, a kind of shock every day. Okay. You know, looking at the people, how they are living, uh, how they are expressing themselves, uh, all their beliefs also in life, but also uh, religious beliefs, you know, and and also the, the way the, the people, uh, you know, share experience mm-hmm. together. So it was like... Uh, Something very new for me, but at the same time, I knew that before I, uh, I, I anticipated this kind of, uh, this kind of work. Well, again, Patrick, I congratulations on your success in Africa. I know yeah. you are really, really happy about that, and we are going to be exhibiting your newer works. Uh, beginning December 6th, and they'll be projected in the new visitor center at the African Burial Ground for at least a month. And uh, we have some folks from L.A. with the Question Bridge who are also going to be commenting on your work, Diane Smith, who you've met, and we also have another artist from Iceland who will be commenting on your work. So, again, thank you so much. It was so good to see you again. That's good. And... uh... Well, say if you got, if you got, for example, some uh, a photo about uh, this event, uh, can you send some of them uh, by the internet? Sure, I will. Yeah, yeah. And uh, 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 another thing, um, well, uh, I don't know how we can manage to do that. Not for next year, because I'm too much busy, busy to, for the year. But uh, I will send you a project. Uh, through the, the West Island Art Fund okay. for 2013. Okay. Uh, and uh, to uh, and this project is what we talk one day in the Dunkin' Donuts in Holland. <laughs> and uh, uh, it was about uh, something about the African diaspora. Yes. And about get this conversation, and we can, uh, you know, we can uh, make some. Um, this project in the African Burial Ground. If the African Burial Ground are, I agree, right? Okay. That's okay? Yes. You do that. Uh, I'm speaking from the, uh, my gallery in South of France. Yes. Uh, the name of the gallery is Ancor. Okay? And thank Ancor. you. Stop. I'm going to come next to me. This is, Hello. This is Ancor. Can you see her? I just it's nice Hi. to meet you. It's uh, Savona. Hi. I'm very happy to see you. Nice oh, to meet you, awesome. too. Thank okay. you so much for letting us do this. Yeah, no, no problem. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, okay, Savona. Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. Talk, talk okay. Talk to you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, bye-bye, Sarah. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye.